Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the development of the spleen. The spleen is a lymphoid organ. This is very vascular. It begins to develop at the fifth week of intrauterine life. The spleen develops from a mass of mesenchymal cells located between the layers of the dorsal mesogastrium. Mesenchyme means embryonic connective tissue. The fetal spleen is lobulated and the lobules disappears before birth. The notches at the superior border of the adult spleen are the remnants of the fetal lobules. That means fetal splenic lobules. As the stomach rotates to the left side, the dorsal mesogastrium is fused to the peritoneum over the left kidney. The splenorenal ligament is formed. So we we'll get the splenic artery in this ligament. The splenorenal ligament, the splenic artery is a branch of the celiac trunk that is a branch of the abdominal aorta one of the ventral branch of the abdominal aorta and it passes behind the omental bursa but in front of the left kidney okay so this is the dorsal mesogastrium and formational spleen is here okay this is the dorsal mesogastrium and the stomach rotates and the the mesogastrium passes over this and it is fused to the peritoneum over the left kidney okay and there will be formation of splenorenal ligament okay that carries the splenic artery a branch of the 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 largest branch of the celiac trunk there is a branch of the dental aspect of the abdominal aorta okay so this passes behind the behind the omental bursa this is the omental bursa okay artery goes through that okay and this is the the location of the spleen here The spleen is a hemopoietic organ that means it has the capacity to produce blood cells in the late fetal life. It has the potential to form blood cells even in adult life. It is seen in severe anemia. Also, it is found in some type of leukemia on blood dyscrasia. In that situation, the spleen has the capacity to produce blood cells in the adult person. Clinical notes, one or more accessory spleen at or around one centimeter may be found in addition to the main body of spleen in the hilum of the spleen, okay, tail of the spleen, hilum of the spleen and tail of the spleen, okay, the tail of the spleen and within the gastrosplenic ligament. Multiple small accessory spleen may occur without the main mass of spleen. We call it polysplenemia. Okay, we call it polysplenemia. Okay, here the main mass of the spleen is missing. In this situation, one or more accessory spleen here the main body of the spleen is remaining, but in this situation, multiple small accessory spleen. May be found without the main mass of the spleen. We call it polysplenia, polysplenia, with possible decreased immunity or or disturbed immunity in children. And that's all about the development of the spleen. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.